The Honorable Minister of Tourism and Culture. Thank you, Madam Speaker. On March 31st, the NHK Television Network in Japan launched a new drama series called Hanako and Anne about the woman who translated Anne of Green Gables to Japanese, Hanako Morocco. This long-running 15-minute biographical drama program is among Japan's most popular series with an audience close to 60 million viewers. And beautiful PEI scenery is featured throughout the program. I know the Honourable Premier visited uh, NHK headquarters on a recent trade mission to the Far East, and he was very impressed with the level of promotion for the series, and with good reason. There simply hasn't been a promotional opportunity with as much potential since the introduction of Anna Green Gables to the Japanese curriculum. And Tourism PEI is looking at ways to take advantage of this tremendous opportunity. We have entered into a partnership with NHK, Air Canada, and the Canadian Tourism Commission, and the Japanese and several Japanese event organizers. These partnerships have allowed Tourism PEI to greatly enhance its marketing presence in Japan to coincide with the series. The response has been absolutely overwhelming. Media and trade inquiries have quadrupled. Tour operators are sold out and looking to book more tours to Prince Edward Island. New markets are emerging, especially in student tours and educational exchange organizations. The list goes on. It's been a tremendous, just simply tremendous, Madam Speaker, and the impact will likely be felt for years to come. I want to thank the staff of Tourism PEI and especially our Japanese representative, Yuko Takahashi, for all their hard work over the last few months to help ensure this opportunity does not pass us by. Thank you, Madam Speaker.